Hello, my lovely Capricorns, and a very warm welcome to your July 2021 horoscope forecast. Now, the big news this month is that Jupiter, planet of abundance, growth, prosperity, wealth, good fortune, goes retrograde on the 29th of the month until almost the end of the year. So this is a good time towards the end of this month to look back over the last three to four months at projects you began, at things that you've expanded into, and to reassess, maybe to restructure, to realign, to look at maybe areas where you could have grown and expanded a little more, and areas maybe where you've just gone a little over the top, and you need to bring things back into balance. But more about that as we go through this month. On the 10th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon in your seventh house of relationships. And on the 12th of the month, Mercury comes to join the party in the relationship area. So Capricorns, this is a wonderful time for new beginnings in relationships, new possibilities, maybe a new relationship, maybe the renewal and revival of an existing relationship. And with Mercury there as well, this is a great time for clear communications, for listening, and for doing your best to see the other side's perspective while not losing your own authenticity and, not, and making sure that you speak out what is important to you. But potentially, this is wonderful for your relationships. On the 22nd of the month, we've got Venus coming into your ninth house. On the 23rd, the Sun coming to join Mars in the eighth. So Sun and Mars in the eighth house, this is a wonderful time for putting energy into anything mystical, magical, esoteric, it's also a good time for putting energy into your emotional body, your gut, trusting the intuition. And you might find yourself working in a collaborative way with a business or your partner's business may be really motoring ahead in new ways, or you may even be helping the partner. Now, on the 24th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your second house. On the 28th, Mercury joining the party in the 8th. And the 29th, Jupiter going retrograde in your second. So a big focus as we go through the month, lovely Capricorns, on this second and eighth houses. So the second house shining a light, this full moon, on your finances, your values, what's important to you. Are you living your life according to your values? Or are you living your life according to what you think other people want you to be or do? It's time to be authentic. It's time to step out. This is a wonderful time for doing something new with your finances. A project or a work situation may come to a close, making way for something new. It's also a very good time for any kind of action to do with uh, tax, insurance, banks, mortgages, loans, all of that. It's a great time for getting it all sorted and just moving forward and uh, getting things that might have been hanging over for a while, just getting them done and dusted. And on the 30th of the month, we've got Mars coming to join Venus, and they're very happy together, these two, in the ninth house. The ninth house has to do with travel, so you might be going on a trip, you might meet somebody special on a trip, a love, intimate, or a friendship. It's also great for learning, for studying, for taking your knowledge to a higher level than before. And it's also wonderful for your spiritual journey, taking that to new lands, new perspectives, new possibilities. So I wish you a wonderful month, my lovely Capricorns. And I thank you for liking the video commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.